Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. I wanted to shoot this quick video, kind of highlight some hot books right now, um, especially what's going on in the Venom series. Um, Venom number three was the first appearance of the villain Null, and he's supposed to be the god of the symbiotes. Uh, issue number four, which I don't have displayed, I'm getting that I think next week, um, goes into further explanation of the origin of the god of the symbiotes, and apparently it goes all the way back to Thor God of Thunder series. This came out in, I believe it was 2012. Um, this was a Jason Aaron series. Um, one of the reasons I bought it is definitely because I'm a big fan of Esad Rabidic and you know, at the time I didn't really know who Jason Aaron was or didn't really follow him, but um, I was a fan of the artwork, so that's one of the reasons I collected it. Um, not a huge Thor fan, but, you know, I thought this was a good series. I, I liked it. It was pretty good. And it was um, basically Thor was very, very vulnerable. Um, this uh, god butcher, I think is what he's referred to, uh, his first appearance is in uh, God... Uh, Thor God of Thunder number two. So this book right now um, seems to be heating up. Uh, I don't have any, I just, you know, I have one of each. Uh, I've got one through 25 of this series, so I have every single issue. Um, you know, I read it once and bagged and boarded it, so they're in really, really good shape. Number two is going for about, I think, 25 to $30 range. Um, not too bad. That could be changing, obviously, but Last time I checked, I think that's what it was going for. Um, nice to have that in my collection. And then, oop, and then Thor uh, number six. This is the issue that um, potentially deals with the origin of the God of the Symbiotes and how that happened. There's a small reference in there. It's not, um, it's not exactly easy to find. I think it's in the middle of the book. Um, that, that kind of talks about how that could be construed as the origin of Null, the god of the symbiote. So this book is heating up on eBay, I think $50, $60 easily for this book, if you can find it. Uh, the interesting thing is, I, I wonder, you know, you probably had a couple days there last week where you could have gone to a local shop and you might have been able to find this in a back issue uh, box. But by now, I would imagine most store owners probably went and looked and see if they had it <laughs> pretty sure they would have you know $56 book probably going to be a hundred dollar book um, if that's confirmed uh, that that issue is the really the first appearance of the god of the symbiotes so yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes right now it's pretty nice to see a book that you know I bought that whole series you know just one of those things, I bought it because I liked the artwork and, you know, the story was pretty good, pretty decent. So I just had it in my collection and you never know what's in your collection, right? You could have stuff in there that um, you just thought, eh, you know, it's two, three dollar book maybe. And then a year later, it's a fifty dollar book. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, what I always say is collect what you like and then, you know, if something heats up and becomes worth a lot of money then that's just a bonus and you know it doesn't really impact me much because I'm not I'm not going to sell the, these comic books so uh, it, it could be worth five hundred dollars I probably yeah, maybe then I would sell it but <laughs> uh, you know if you get uh, a, a modern book if it gets well over 150 200 dollars um, you know that's when I might consider selling a book um, especially if I could use that capital to you know, maybe buy a Silver Age book that I would really like to own. So, um, yeah, so there's some highlights there. Another book that I, I picked up that you may want to look at getting, um, whoop, drop my Venom there. Oh, by the way, on this Venom number three, uh, I think I have like four copies already in my collection of this. Um, I found another shop that had uh, another probably a dozen copies. I, I picked up six more. Um, for cover price. <laughs> so, you know, I, I right there what I'll do is I'll try to flip them on eBay, maybe get $15 a piece for them and use that capital to try to buy a, a bigger book. I've done that quite a bit, especially in the last year. Um, 
if I see something I kind of have an idea is going to be hot, I'll buy extra copies. And then I'll, I'll sell them and use that capital to, you know, buy a, a bigger book that I've been wanting to get for a while. So uh, here's, here's one that I picked up that I didn't have in my collection. I, maybe a year ago I thought about buying it, um, Omega Man number 3. This is the first appearance of um, Lobo. Uh, it kind of doesn't look like Lobo. It, it, in the comic book, it, it's definitely the early beginnings of Lobo. It's kind of not fleshed out all the way. Um, yeah, it's not really a good read. <laughs> it's kind of a cheesy 80s comic book for sure. Um, and he doesn't look badass in this book either. So, But this is a key book to get. Um, you can find this on eBay still raw. I think I picked this up for 60 bucks. Um, you can probably find it in the $40, $50 range, but I don't know if you're going to find it in near mint. This thing is... You know, if I got it graded, it probably would grade around a nine four to nine six easily. I don't, I don't know if it would grade at nine eight. I mean, there's no strain, uh, spine stresses at all. All four corners are sharp. You know, it's at least a nine six. Um, so sixty bucks ungraded nine six. That's pretty good. So you can, if you hunt this down, I would buy it because I know he's going to be Lobo is going to be in that new Titan series. Um, He'll make an appearance there, and who knows? You know, they may end up putting him in a movie eventually. You know, this book it could be a $150, $200 book at some point. Um, there seems to be a lot of copies, though. You know, if you go on eBay, there's always, you know, more than a dozen copies for sale. So it doesn't seem to be a very short printed book. Um, so I don't know if it's ever going to be worth a, a ton of money, but I, I don't know. New Mutants 98 was a very high printed run as well and that's worth worth quite a bit of money so you never know this might be a sleeper this is one that you may want to put in your collection if you can find it um, either on ebay or at a cheap price or maybe in your local shop so those are some books i wanted to highlight for the week um i've been communicating with jim's comics and i know he's going to be coming out with a video um talking about some developments with that character requiem uh, that'll be interesting. I know I've got that book on order. That's coming in, I think, in the next week. And uh, well, who knows? This could be a really interesting thing that Marvel's doing with a couple of their villains. So uh, I definitely picked up uh, Count, and I have highlighted this before in a video. Countdown um, to Infinity to Infinity Wars uh, number four. It had the um, the Turk cover with the, one of the um, one of the Infinity Stones on the cover. Uh, I picked that up in a in a Virgin copy of, of that book at a pretty good price. So that could be a book that all of a sudden everyone starts chasing down, and you know, it becomes a really really big book. So I think you can still find it online for in, in between. You know, the, the Virgin copy. I think the last time I saw it online, it was around thirty forty dollars. You might be able to find that still on eBay um, and that Requiem character we'll have to see what develops on that I th you know there's still some speculation on that but uh, that could be a big book and I've highlighted that before in previous videos so hope everyone has a great week I will uh, I don't know if I'll be able to post a video next week I'm going to be on vacation so I might have to skip a week here and catch up when I get back hope everyone has a great week and I'll talk to you soon thanks